Welcome back, y'all. Today we got another solve city in court. This guy has me completely perplexed. He's either the dumbest solve city in history or an absolute genius. Could really go either way with him. He's fighting misdemeanor charges for no license and no insurance, as well as a speeding ticket. Check him out. Time was over. Okay. Uh, Daniel James Williams? Uh, yeah, I'm here on special appearance. Okay, hey, do you know my special appearance means what? Because I need to have the actual person present. You need to have the actual person present? Yes. Person so are you Daniel like James Williams? I'm not a person if you ask if I'm a person. If you're not a person, what are you? Like a fish taco or something? I don't know. What do you identify as? Like a legal fiction, no. Okay. So the only person that I can have on this hearing for this person is Daniel James D'Angelo Williams. Are you that person? <clears throat> I'm not that person, no. Okay. So if you Just know them, tell them that they're going to get a show, show cause. Now, I'm not calling on the record, but I need the actual person because I can't communicate with just anybody. I have to communicate with this person. Did you Is talk to them, Attorney Ward Yeah. Did you talk the, to uh, uh, So for the record, Your Honor. Or... Okay, let me call it then. I'll call it. Well, yeah. you talk. Okay. Now calling the matter of the people versus Daniel James D'Angelo Williams. This is ticket number SP1585809. Count one, fail to display a valid operator's license. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Count three, 26 to 30 miles over posted speed. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Hey, hey good morning, Your Honor. Ben Wordling, P64889 on behalf of Daniel James Williams. Judge, uh, I did attempt to talk with the individual that's on screen. He, he indicated that he did not want, he wanted to proceed in pro per or pro se. That's terrifying. <laughs> that little glitch looks like something out of a horror movie. You will. He did not. He, he declined my my legal services at this time. All right. All right, sir. Uh, can you state your name for the record? For the record, the living man, Daniel Williams. That's good enough for me. I'll take the living man. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> It looks like some bad stop motion. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> this is the date and time set in this particular matter for a um, what's it called? It's a free trial in this particular matter, sir. What that means is that you're here today because it's been a alleged that you have some tickets. Be before my court. It's my understanding that Attorney Werberling tried to communicate with you and you did not want his services. Is that correct, sir? That is correct. I do not want to okay. contract with Mr. Waverly. Who needs a lawyer? I've got you two. Okay. All right, sir. You know you have the absolute right to have an attorney. Two of these tickets are misdemeanors, and that means that some constitutional rights kick into play. Um, because I can take away civil liberties such as up to 90 days in jail as well as up to a $500 fine. You understand that, sir? That's fine. Okay. And so at this point in time, um, how do you wish to proceed? The three options are typically you can ask for some more time so that you can come into compliance. That's called a, a new pretrial date. You can ask for a bench trial date. That's a trial date before myself as the trier and finder of facts. The officers who wrote this ticket will have to appear in court as well on that day. Um, you can also ask for a jury trial. That's a trial before uh, six citizens of the city of Detroit who would come down here and have to decide on this matter. Or I guess it's four options because you can also take a plea. Um, I think count three is not in the system because they had to return the ticket. So it's really just two misdemeanors that should be appearing on the docket for today. Let me check and make sure. That's my ticket. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's, all this sounds like you're saying, like, go to court. And I, I, I'll go to court if appearing in person. That's all I'm fine. No, you are in court right now. So my question is, how do you want to proceed? What do you want to do? What's the next step? Do you want to have a new date so you can try and come into compliance, meaning that you want to get some of these documents like your license, some car insurance? Do you want to take a plea today? There's usually an offer that's given to folks if they want to take advantage of that and, and take some type of resolution in this particular matter. Or you can ask for a bench trial before myself or a jury trial. 
I'm trying to figure out what this what jurisdiction um, is this court being upheld in? It's in Detroit, Michigan. That's located in the state of Michigan, the United States of America. No, no. What I mean is, is this court in um, in a common law jurisdiction or a criminal jurisdiction, admiralty law? Of Definitely criminal. criminal. So the, 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 this, this is a criminal matter. It's criminal misdemeanors for traffic matters. Okay. So that's why I told you those constitutional rights, because criminal law kicks in. Okay, and under the criminal law, the, the jurisdiction of common law, it has common law and it has criminal jurisdiction, admiralty of the military tribunal uh, review from... I like how he's reading that off like it's the first time he ever heard it. It's probably some jackass he knows that has a car with no windows in it anymore and a silver bracelet fetish wrote it down for him. Be sure and say this. It's going to work. It works for me none of the time. The cool one. So I'm trying to figure out, are we under common law or the criminal jurisdiction of admiralty and military tribunal review from Article 1? Neither. We're under criminal law in the city of Detroit, state of Michigan. They really need to change the format of their papers. You know, here's what you say. And when the judge either laughs in your face or says, no, nah, we ain't playing that. Here's what you say. They never have a follow up. Get it together, soft sets. Given its power by the state of Michigan through the U.S. Constitution as it gives powers to each state to make laws and jurisdiction and rules. And each community within that state is allowed to do so as long as it's within its powers. Exactly. And I'm a living person, not an entity on document. I'm not. I'm not an entity in document either. I'm a living person as well. And living people get in vehicles and they drive them and they get tickets. So that's what we're here for today. How would you like to move forward, Mr. Williams? I don't have that much additional time today for it. However, I'm giving you some options so that you can be able to choose which one you want to do today. Um, and if you don't want to participate at all, what I'll do is I'll enter a show cause. A show cause means it's a hearing where you fail to participate in my court hearing. And then if you fail to participate in the next day, then I'll issue a warrant. It's a zero bond warrant, but it'll be a warrant out there until you want to at least choose one of these avenues. There's been alleged, it's been allegations just at this point in time that you violated some of the laws that are followed by the citizens of the city of Detroit, county of Wayne, state of Michigan as a part of the United States of America. It's been alleged at this point in time. So all I'm trying to do is figure out what, how you want to proceed today. You need some more time? You want to try and get in compliance and get that license together? I don't mind. I give time for that. Well, I, I, have very... serial, I have the serial QCIP number to my license and the serial QCIP contract to my insurance as well, and it's both valid. That's right. You heard it. He actually has a valid license and valid insurance, but he's doing this anyway. However, they're no, both private inside of a trust. I, I live privately, so I don't have to show the policy enforcers my private insurance nor my uh, ID when they pull me over from traveling privately in my automobile. Do you do 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 you have a valid license? I have I have identification to prove that I'm able to operate this automobile in my estate. So a license. If you drove on Hubbo and Eaton, that's in the city of Detroit, and that is not private property. That is very much a public road. <laughs> that is a public road that is paid for by the citizens. That is paid for by the citizens like myself who pay hefty taxes, hefty taxes to everybody to be able to allow them to ride on those roads within the city and the state of Michigan. So. Okay, this is my ADD kicking in again. Why do they always do the Zoom court from their cars? I don't understand. And it's usually for traffic tickets or no license or something. Do you really want them to see you behind the wheel of your car while you're doing your court? Makes no sense. These people aren't the brightest. Run your license. Is it going to come back valid? Because if it is, we can actually dismiss that ticket. And if you have car insurance and you show it to me today, I can actually dismiss that ticket as well. Do you got some car insurance? Yes, ma'am. I have a, a ongoing um uh serial number. Let me, with... Let me see. It has to be like it's a it usually give you a little form. I know I have to print mine out for mine. I I have I have um paid mine um with um 
FRNs online, so I only have the online document, and I have it in my Apple ID, so I don't, I could take a picture on this. Can you, um, I'm going to send you my email address. If you could send it to my email address, that take care of two of the tickets, actually. Okay, let me see. I'm going to send you the email address. Wait, so, so you mean to tell me that following the law works better than trying to run some kind of phony script on you? I can't believe it. I also have another question in settling the subject matter. Yeah. Go um, ahead. Um, after the case get dismissed, it's with prejudice or without? Um, if you have the documents, I'm willing to do it with prejudice today. If you have these, you see what I just sent you? you send, me the, send me the insurance. We do it without prejudice, but they're not going to refile it. You better okay. have a valid license. This license is valid. <laughs> Send me, send me the other one. The only one that did appear on the docket is the speeding ticket. Let me see what I can do about that. That's speeding the only one crime, you might have to But speeding isn't a crime. It has to be an injured party, and it has to be presented. And the injured party has to be having all. No, you talking? You talking about civil law? That's not civil law. This is this is a, a like a civil infraction in, imposed by the state of Michigan. And the injured party is all the citizens, essentially, if you want to go that route, it, because we could potentially be injured by your conduct and your behavior on the roadway. But, but that I hear what you're saying. You said the word potentially, potentially. That's what you're saying. And then the state, what, what somebody would have to present me a statement where the party was injured. They would have to present okay. me a statement. Well, we can always do a, a hearing on that ticket. But if you send me the if you send me your car insurance right now to the email address I sent it to, then I can dismiss those two counts because you got a valid license. And if you got valid insurance, did you did you, did I send it to the right person? Or I put it in the chat for everyone. I'm gonna send it directly to you, Mr. Williams, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I can't tell if he's an idiot for trying this nonsense while actually having a license and insurance or if he's some kind of genius for making sure he has that safety net up for when the stuff don't work. You can send me this. Okay. Mr. Watts, I'm sorry to interrupt the meeting. No, you're good. He's in here. And he's Mr. Watts, I need to... Oh, Go ahead. I'm going to just call him on his phone. Okay, that works. I have a, I have another question. Yes, They'll sir. Be no on my um savings bonds, will they? It's traffic court. She's not the SEC. No, they won't. We're just, I'm just strictly dealing with these matters. You have a really nice, clean record. We can dismiss at least two of the tickets. I know you have some disputes about the last one, but just send me the other one because I can't. I, he has a valid license. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. Appreciate you. No problem. Let's see. Let's get through this. I'm trying to write it down because I can't really see. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Just uh, do do it. I'm I'm sitting right here waiting. Okay. And that's dot com or dot org. I see it. Dot dot org. I'm sorry. You see it. Attorney Werberly, we're off the record in this other matter. I'm gonna see if Mr. Wright will answer and come into the courtroom. He did. Mr. Wright, Charles Wright, Mr. Charles Wright, press star six on your phone. Or unmute yourself. Unmuted, Judge. He is already unmuted. Charles Wright, I'm going to just remove him. Maybe he'll log back on or something. Because that was your last person, wasn't it, Attorney Ward? But let me, I, think. I believe so, Your Honor. I'll give him five more minutes to sign back on. If hey. Guy in the right corner. Stop poking me in the face. Then you are free if you would like to. I know we had a long week with a lot of members of our wonderful community coming in. So. Thank you, Judge. I'll be here. Okay. All right. Wait, just to, let's see if he logs back on. Maybe he was having trouble hearing us. Attorney Mason? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right. The only ticket, and I'm just waiting for his, um, his, uh, SOS. Uh, his SOS came back valid for his license, Mr. Cool. Williams. He has a valid license. He's in it over the insurance. It's a speeding ticket that he's disputing at this point in time. I could what send it, it for uh, it's a uh, twenty six to thirty one. He was doing uh, it was a stationary radar fifty one and a twenty five alleged. Is this 
This is uh, Dang Daniel Williams. 51 and a 35. 25, unfortunately. It looks like he was on a Hubble and Eaton. Eaton. I'm sorry, I should enunciate my words, as my dad would say. What's his uh, record looking like, Judge? This is it. His record is totally clean. And he does not have a CDL. This is his, He don't have nothing on it but his name at the top of the sheet of paper. Okay, you know what? I... Okay, Mr. Yeah. Williams, don't do it again, okay? Please, don't do it again. Please. Please. I, I won't. I, I, I won't. Yeah, it's nice to catch a break on a speeding ticket, have it dismissed or reduced to a warning or something. Yeah, you know, that's nice. He was going awful fast, but I think the judge is so surprised to see a driver's license. She'd let him buy with anything at this point. I mean, we, we worry about little kids and little old people like me, yeah. you know. No, so, I'm part of it. Like I, I know y'all see the crystal. I'm, I'm real. Like you know, so I, it was, it was a rough day. It, that's okay. All. Okay, I'll give. You know, judge, I'll leave it to the court's discretion. Ugh. There we go. Whatever what? the judge wants to do. Mr. Williams, if I, when I get this little insurance, if your insurance is good, I'm gonna dismiss all three counts today. Look at you when you participate and actively in our system. I sent it. Um, I just sent it to you as well. I know. I'm just waiting for it to come through. I was I was excited when I saw that you had a valid license. Tell your friends, please, to do what they do. See, she says to go back and tell your friends. What she means is go back and tell them that if you have a driver's license and insurance, then you won't go to jail for not having either of those. What he's probably going to do is to go home and tell his friends that, hey, thank you guys. All this stuff you told me to say absolutely worked. They dismissed everything. A license because it's not that hard and look at you you're gonna keep a clean record today you see that mr williams by coming on here i know you want to state your ground and i i understand as yes, part of growing yes. up is learning to exercise your stuff but it's also being respectful and you were respectful and look what happens when you're respectful yes ma'am i appreciate that too okay all right Sometimes it moves a little slowly, so don't feel bad. You know, Judge, usually I dismiss the insurances myself. I oh, always dismiss okay. those insurances, so. You know, oh, okay, I mean. yeah. I was about to say, he, I mean, right now he's floored me with this license after he came on here talking about some of the person of, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing my research since I was like 18. Yeah, don't, don't, don't stop that research. You just do what you did. Act respectful coming here. Allow counsel to help you next time because they're not trying to lead you down a path. And you keep keep that license up to date, valid. Keep your insurance up to date and valid in your vehicle. And slow down. You won't have no issues. Back on the record in the matter of People versus Daniel James, D'Angelo Williams. Is a ticket SP one five eight five eight zero nine. Um, I caught this matter already. We had to stop and get some information. Just state your name once again for the record, Mr. Williams. Please say your name. Daniel Williams, the living man. All right. This is it's my discovery that he has a valid license. We have had a nice little talk about him showing documents. He has insurance. And on the speeding, we're going to give you your break. Right. But if you come back again, we'll be able to see it. So just make sure you keep everything valid, up to date and slow down. I'm going to dismiss these tickets today and I'll do them with prejudice in your honor. OK. <laughs> All right. If there's nothing further, Mr. Williams, you're all set. Thank you. And keep keep that light going, okay? Don't let thank them kill you. your light. You have a peaceful day. You too. Thank you. See, I'm trying to stay optimistic here. I'm hoping that it sank in that, you know, hey, this stuff is nonsense and I shouldn't try it. I should just have a license and insurance like I do. And, you know, maybe we win one. Maybe we got somebody to stop doing this stupid shit. But that's all I got for him. Like, subscribe, comment. See you on the next one.